of how strong the force could be on somebody. It was a lot of fun, but I was still shaken from it. I, I couldn't believe how scared I was and it thrilled at the same time. Maybe that's why I became a pilot. <laughs> I sort of like that kind of thing. But it was that, that I always remember that ride. Uh, I, I always thought it was an urban legend until recently uh, because there was an urban legend about this sailor who was riding the Big Dipper and he stood up and his head hit one of the cross beams and uh, literally took his head off and it landed in the lap of some girl in the, in, in the car. Well, the reality is that it did happen. Uh, he didn't lose his head, but it crushed his skull. He was there with a girl and I guess he landed on her. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was 1945 and he was a sailor fresh from the Pacific and uh, he wouldn't sit down. Uh, I think there was one article in Look Magazine that said the, uh, the roller coaster operator was always in a state of perpetual fear because he was always afraid someone would stand up because if they stood up, they would go flying out of the roller coaster train and come landing in the station. But I think that was just urban legend. Yeah, it was a good store for publicity.